Welcome. In this video, I'm going to talk about taking a snapshot on a QNAP NAS, and I'll put a link in the description to my QNAP playlist if you want to see the previous videos I've made. Also, if you like this video and you're looking to purchase a QNAP, I'll put a link in the description to the equipment I'm using. If you use those links, it helps me out a little bit and doesn't cost you anything extra. So in a previous video, I set up a thick volume on the QNAP. So now I'll go into storage and snapshots. On the left here, I'll click on storage snapshots. I'll select our data vol one volume that I made. I'll click on the snapshot menu here and I'll say take a snapshot. It's going to say after taking a snapshot, the read write performance of the volume or LUN may be permanently decreased by 5 to 30%. I'll say OK. It's going to say what is the snapshot name? And it's just using the GMT date and time. And it says keep this snapshot permanently. So if I click on the little I here, it says if enabled snapshots might cause pool space to run low, leading to disruption in storage services. To prevent this, delete snapshots manually or enable automatic deletion at global settings snapshot. So I don't want to keep this permanently. And then if we click here, we can type a description. So this is my initial snapshot. I'll hit OK. OK, so it says the snapshot has been created. Uh, hit OK. So what we did there is we captured a moment in time on this storage volume. So if I go, I'll minimize this, I'll click on File Station, and on under public here I have this uh, photo called reflections.jpg. I'll right click on this and I'll say delete. I'll say delete permanently. So say I want that back, um, I've deleted it. Well, we have a snapshot of what the hard drive looked like before we deleted that file. So I click on the data volume one, I'll click on snapshot, I'll click on snapshot manager. So here we have a couple options. We can restore the individual file. So if I click under public here, I can see reflections here and I can just say restore this or you can revert the volume completely. So I'll click on revert volume snapshot. So this is telling me it's going to revert me back to where I was. Um, if you have this check here, it can take a snapshot before reverting. I'm not going to do that because I didn't really have anything changed, but you could do that to be safer. And then you have local revert or restore folder to. So I'll do local revert. It says volume can't be unmounted. Do you want to suspend all services and revert snapshot? I'll say OK. So if we click up at the top under this background tasks, you'll see it's reverting the volume. It's at 10%. So it's important to note that this would be kind of dumb to re revert the whole volume for one file. I'm just doing it as an example. Um, typically we do that if, uh, say you had a crypto virus come through and uh, encrypted everything and you need to restore back to what you had before. Um, it screwed everything up. Then you would revert back to your original snapshot. Now, if I just wanted to get this one file, I would probably tend to click on that and just restore the one file. Okay, so we got an event notification that it successfully reverted to the snapshot. So I'll hit OK here. I'll close this down. It says the snapshot schedule for the volume line is disabled. I'll just hit OK. I'll close this down. I'll go into File Station. And if I'm in public here, you see Reflections is back. So like I said, that's a kind of a roundabout way if you're just recovering one file. But if you had a whole directory of files or things like that, you can roll back to those. So it's a nice data protection tool. Uh, you still want to have backups off-site, um, like a fire could happen and just take out the whole NAS device or whatever. There's many different things that could happen. So, But if anything happened on the box itself and you want to restore those files, it gives you an easy way to do that. So if you have any questions about this, please leave them in the comments. If you like this video, please click like. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd appreciate it if you could do that. And thanks for watching. Until next time, goodbye.